Hello, hello, and welcome back to Simple Holistic Yoga. Now, most of us are not always happy at where we stand on the weighing scale, but we don't always have an entire 60 minutes or 90 minutes to spend on ourselves because we're all busy, right? Life just gets in the way. So I have designed this sequence, which is short and sweet. It's going to help get your heart rate up and it's gonna leave you feeling open from head to toe. What we're about to do is a series of dynamic postures that we're gonna to put together systematically that is in turn going to help you lose some weight if you practice on a regular basis. So if you're ready to get started, I will meet you on the mat right after this. Right, we're going to get started on our hands and knees and we'll start with a few spinal warm-ups so you want to make sure that your wrists are just underneath your shoulders and that your knees are just underneath your hips from here press into the hands press into the tops of your feet and then as you inhale lift your heart lift your chest exhale round and curl release your head and your neck inhale heart and chest lift tailbone lifts exhale round and curl Inhale, lifting up, and exhale and round. From here, we're gonna come into neutral tabletop. You're gonna tuck your toes under, press into the balls of your feet, press into your hands, and then you wanna lift your kneecaps off of the mat just a tiny bit. So remember, the lower you are to the mat, the harder this is. So as you inhale, lift those kneecaps up, tiny bit, hold, breathe, Activate your core and then release, untuck your toes. One round of cat and cow, inhale, arch your back and exhale and round. Coming back to neutral, you will do that again. So tuck your toes under, press into the balls of your feet and then lift your kneecaps off of the mat. So I'm gonna count down from 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One deep breath, let it go, drop your knees, maybe even take a child's pose if you need to. Locate the cadence of your breath. And rise back up to neutral tabletop. Now from here, you're gonna extend your right leg back behind you so that you're on the ball of your right foot. Press into that, press into your right hand and lift your left hand off of the mat. Reach your fingertips forward towards the front of the room and then gathering your belly towards your spine, you're gonna lift that right leg off of the mat. One straight, straight line from your left fingertips all the way to your right heel. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. And release. We'll do another round of cat and cow. So as you inhale, heart lifts, chest lifts. As you exhale, round your spine. Come back to neutral, taking it on the other side. So now you're gonna extend your left leg back behind you. Press into the ball of that left foot, right fingertips reach forward. And then when you're ready, you're gonna lift that left leg off of the mat, find your balance, find that length in your spine. And then as you exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Hold, breathe, smile, and then let it go. We'll do one more cat and cow. So as you inhale, arch that back, lift up into a nice, happy cow. And exhale down into angry cat. Gonna come back to neutral now and we're gonna do what we just did, but with our knee off of the mat. So, you wanna tuck your tailbone, I'm sorry, tuck your toes under, 
You could always go back to the previous version if this is too much, so you get to decide where your body is at right now. So you're gonna tuck your toes under, press into your hands, press into the balls of your feet, lift your kneecaps off of the mat. Press firmly into the ball of your left foot as you extend your right leg back behind you. Hold. Exhale, release. We'll do that on the other side. So you're gonna keep those toes tucked under, lift the kneecaps off of the mat, press into the ball of your right foot, extend left, look, left leg back behind you. Again, hold, breathe, release. You can take another child's pose or you can tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, downward facing dog. So pedal out your legs here. Do whatever you need to in your downward facing dog to get comfortable. Deep breaths are traveling in and out of your body. And then you can look at the space in between your hands, walk, step or jump forward and fold forward. Inhale, arms rise. Fingertips reach up and exhale, hands to your heart. So we're gonna take it into a half sun salutation from here. Inhale your arms up, exhale and fold. Inhale halfway up, exhale fold again. Inhale, root to rise, fingertips reach up and exhale hands to your heart. Inhaling one more time, fingertips reach up, exhale and fold, leading with your chest. Inhaling halfway up, exhale, fold again, release the crown of the head towards the mat, release any tension in your back, in your feet, in your jaw, inhaling, root to rise, arms reach up, fingertips reach up, maybe palms touch, and then exhale, hands to your heart. Now we're going to add on, inhaling, reaching up, exhale, and fold. Inhaling halfway up, exhale, step back into plank. Hold your plank. Make sure that your wrists are just underneath your shoulders. Press into the balls of your feet. Push those heels towards the back of the room. Draw that lower belly in and we'll hold this to the count of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. You can do it. 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift up, downward facing dog. Look at the space in between your hands. Walk, step or jump forward and fold forward. Inhale, arms rise. And exhale, hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Reaching up, growing tall as you inhale and exhale, humble your way down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step back into plank, lower down, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, baby cobra. And exhale, down facing dog. Look at the space in between your hands. You're going to walk, step or jump forward and fall forward. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, hands in prayer at your heart center. Inhaling, one more Surya Namaskar. Exhale and fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step back into plank. And you can lower down, knees, chest, chin, or you could go for Chaturanga and Upward Facing Dog, your choice of vinyasa. And then exhale your way back to downward facing dog. Look at the space in between your hands. Walk, step or jump forward and fold forward. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Close your eyes if you need to. Notice the heat that you just generated or created in your body. And then blink your eyes open, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold your way down. Inhaling halfway up, 
Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. So once again, pedal out your legs here if you need to. Find your balance, find your reset point as we start moving our way to standing postures. Now lift that right leg back behind you. And as you exhale, bring your shoulders over your wrists, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose as you round and curl your spine. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. And then step that foot forward in between your hands. Get your bearings strong. Lift up, crescent lunge. Sink down into your crescent lunge. Press firmly through the ball of that left foot. Fingertips reach up, shoulders are down, heart and chest is lifted. Exhale, hands in prayer. Inhale, find length in your spine across the sides of your waist and then exhale, twist right. Extend your arms in either direction. Keep with your breath. Don't forget to press firmly into the ball of that left foot. That is what is sustaining you in this pose. It's harder to breathe when we're twisting, so keep with your breath. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands frame your foot. Step back into plank and lower down. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog. Your choice. And exhale, downward facing dog. So take two deep breaths here to reset again if you need to. Press into your heels, press into your hands. Get firm with your standing. And then from here, you're gonna lift your left leg back behind you. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. And then step that foot forward in between your hands. Crescent lunge on the left side. So ground down firmly, lift up. This time making sure that you're activating your right quad by pressing firmly into the ball of your right foot. Hands in prayer. Inhale, find length in your spine. Exhale, twist left. Your arms are gonna extend in either direction. You wanna feel as if someone's pulling you from either sides, front and back of the room. Spine is nice and lifted. Inhale, reaching up, maybe even take it into a back bend if your body allows you to. Exhale, hands frame your foot, step back, downward facing dog. Deep breaths in and out. Once again, locating the cadence of your breath. Don't lose your breath. Inhale through your nose, and exhale, maybe even sigh it out. One more time, inhale, and exhale and let it go. Look at the space in between your hands. Walk, step or jump forward, and fold forward. Inhale, reaching up, fingertips reach up, and exhale, hands to your heart. And then by your side. One more, inhale, and exhale, and fold. Inhale, halfway up, exhale, and step back, downward facing dog. From here, your right leg lifts. And as you exhale, you're gonna step that right foot forward in between your hands. You're gonna spin your left heel down Warrior one on the right side. So you wanna make an effort to keep your hips square towards the front of the room in your warrior one. And then you're gonna take your fingers back behind you, interlace your fingers, lift your heart, lift your chest, and as you exhale, fold to the inside of your right thigh. So you wanna press firmly through the outer edge of your left foot to keep your balance. And if interlace fingers isn't working for you, 
you can always release that interlace and have your arms or fingertips reach up towards the ceiling. Inhale, lift up, reaching up, warrior one again. Exhale, hands to your hips. From here, you want to get onto the ball of your left foot. And then you want to step that left foot forward to meet your right foot. Grow tall, exhale, hinging from the hips and fold forward. Make sure your big toes are touching, heels can be one inch apart. We're going to move into chair pose. So you're going to bend your knees, sink your hips, lift up, chair pose. So when you're in your chair pose, you want to sit your back back and maybe see if you can try to lift your toes off of the mat. So you want to push some weight in your heels so that you're not dumping a lot of weight in your knees. If your arms bother you, you can always do cactus arms. Exhale, hands in prayer, fold over straight legs. A little break, bring your feet hip width apart, maybe grab opposite elbows to clasp and ragdoll yourself from side to side. And then from here, you're gonna bring your hands back down, inhale halfway up, exhale fold, Inhale, rise all the way up to standing tall mountain. And exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. From here, this time your left leg rises. And as you exhale, you're going to step that left foot forward in between your hands. Spin your right heel down, lift up, warrior one. Again, making sure to square the hips towards the front of the room. So if that isn't working for you, you can always straighten your front leg, then square the hips and then re-bend that left knee. And then from here, interlacing your fingers back behind you, lift your heart, lift your chest as you inhale. Draw those knuckles down towards the mat. And then as you exhale, fold to the inside of your left thigh. Now once again here, if your shoulders are not cooperating right now, it's completely fine to just release the interlace of the fingers and have those fingertips reaching up. From here, gathering your belly towards your spine, lift back up into your warrior one. And then from here, bring your hands to your hips, come onto the ball of your right foot, and then you're gonna step that right foot forward to meet your left foot. Inhale, lift up, hands on the hips, maybe even the hip creases. Exhale, lead with your chest and fold forward. Release your hands down onto the mat, inhale halfway up, Exhale, fold. Inhale up one more time. Exhale, fold. And then bring your big toes to touch. Heels can be one inch apart. Once again, we're gonna lift up into chair pose. So bend your knees, sink your hips down, and then lift your arms up. So make sure you're not overarching your neck here. So keep that nice length in the neck. Bring your hands together and to your heart center. And then as you exhale, you're gonna twist right. Now when you're twisting, you wanna make sure that your knees are in line with one another and that your hips are squared. There's a tendency for us to spin our hips in one direction. So try to keep those hips squared. Inhale your way to center. Exhale, twist left. Take a deep breath in. See if you can sink down a little bit deeper. Maybe even smile. And then bring your way back to center. Exhale, fold over straight legs. Bring your feet hip width apart. Maybe even bend your knee, one knee at a time. 
finding your equilibrium again, finding your balance again, maybe even shaking your head from side to side. And then inhale halfway up, exhale fold, inhale rise all the way up, fingertips reach up, exhale hands to your heart and by your side. Bring your hands in prayer now to your heart center and we'll begin our descent. So you're gonna come onto your tippy toes and then you're gonna lower yourself. So you're gonna bend your knees and lower yourself slowly down onto the mat. The slower you go, the harder this is. So just try to control your movement as best as you can. And as slowly as you can lower down onto the mat, and once you're down, we're gonna get on our knees. So I'm gonna to turn to face you. We're gonna do one last thing to sort of energize or activate our abdominal wall, and then we'll move our way onto our backs. So you wanna come onto your heels. You wanna extend your right leg to the side. So you wanna make sure your right foot is in line with your left knee. Keep your heart and chest lifted, and then inhale your arms up. Interlace your fingers, maybe have your index fingers pointing up, and then exhale and bend over to the right. Now this isn't about how far you can bend to the right. Don't worry about the depth here. Just make sure that your chest is lifted and that you're not caving in. So try to have your arms framing your ears, and then just bend over as best as you can. Inhale to center, exhale bend to the left, and keep pressing into that right foot. Inhale to center, release, and we'll do that on the other side. So this is the last bit, I promise. You're gonna extend your left leg out to the side. Left leg is in line with your right knee. Hands in prayer, lifting up. Interlace your fingers, accept your index finger, and now we're gonna bend over to the left. Keep with your breath. Find length all across the right side of your body. Inhale your way to center. Exhale and bend right. This is a nice side bend. Inhale to center. And then we're gonna release. Now we're gonna find our way on our back. So let's just sit first. Bring the soles of your feet on the mat. Lift your heart, lift your chest. So bring your hands under your thighs, lift your heart, lift your chest. So first find that length into the spine and then extend your arms out in front of you, keeping that chest lifted. You're gonna then slowly lower yourselves back onto the mat. So make sure you're planting firmly through your feet as that's gonna give you support. And then use your abdominal wall to lower you slowly onto the mat. And then from here, bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice tight squeeze. Extend your arms out into a T and then drop both your knees to the right and turn your gaze to look towards your left fingertips. If you need to use your right hand to guide those knees and press them further, you can do that. And then releasing and bringing your knees back to center. Now we're gonna drop our knees to the left while we look towards the right fingertips. So this is just to release our back. Inhaling our knees back to center, giving yourself one tight squeeze, and then you can rock yourself back to seated. So that was it for our series on uh, yoga for weight loss. I hope you enjoyed that and stay tuned if you like this and you're looking for more, which will follow soon. So have a nice day and thank you again for watching. Namaste.